Hello folks, this is a brief guide on gearing up the Raiden Shogun. It will focus on her artifacts and weapon rating. I will talk about her abilities and teams in detail on a later video. Anyway, let's get to it. Her artifact stat priority is finally different compared to other DPS characters. Yeah, you can go the usual attack percent, electro percent, and crit on the sands, goblet, and helmet. It will give you a decent stat distribution, but if you want to min-max more, then there are better builds that you can do. Oh, her best artifact set is still the 4-piece Emblem of Severed Fate. Other choices are 4-piece Thunder Soother, or the hybrid 2-piece Noblesse with 2-piece Thundering Fury or 18% attack. But those alternate sets are not as good as the Emblem, so stick with that. For a support Shogun, you can also go 4-piece Tenacity of the Millilith. Anyway, back to the stats for a main DPS. Since her kit focuses over two-thirds of her damage towards her burst, we will also gear to increase her burst damage. Let's start with the sand piece. There are two options for main stat, either attack percent or energy recharge. Attack percent will still provide more damage than energy recharge, but only by a small margin. That's thanks to the Shogun's ascension passive. This increases her electro damage by 40% of her bonus energy recharge. It also generates more energy for your team during her burst. Thanks to her Ascension 4, both an attack percent and electro percent goblet works. The best main stat would depend on your team and weapons. Here's the rule of thumb. If you have abilities such as weapon passives or characters or artifacts that increases your attack percent, then pick the electro goblet. If you don't, then go for the attack percent goblet. And here is a flowchart I made as a visual guide. If your team includes a source of an attack buff like Bennett, Sara, or characters with 4 piece noblesse or tenacity artifacts, then use an electro goblet. If you are using a weapon that provides an attack percent bonus, then also use an electro goblet. If you are using attack percent sands, then also go with an Electro Goblet. And finally, if you are using Energy Recharge Sand, then go with an Attack Percent Goblet. And when will you pick between Attack Percent or Energy Recharge Sands? If you have both options, then use the one that gets you closer to 200% total Energy Recharge. And regardless of your build, as long as you are using her best set, the 4-piece Emblem of Severed Fate, do not go above 300% Energy Recharge, since that is the cap on the 4-piece bonus. Oh, and there is a catch when you're using the catch. If you don't have any attack buff on your team and you are using the catch polearm, then go attack percent sands and attack percent goblet. It is rare to run a team without Bennett or Noblesse, but it does happen from time to time. Now for the helmet. It's nice and easy. You want crit. Whether you want crit rate or crit damage as the main stat depends on all your substats. When you check your final stats on each potential set, pick the one with the higher number when you multiply her crit rate and crit damage. And for the substat priority, it is both the crit stats, then attack percent, then energy recharge. The other stats do not affect her damage output that much. Now for her weapons. These are the simulated values from the Raiden Shogun mains discord with the following parameters. Ball is at C0 with 199 talent levels, and has 200% energy recharge with the 4-piece emblem of Severed Fate. These numbers is her damage in a 22 second rotation, which includes one burst activation. The left chart is her rotation without buffs from your teammates, while the right side includes a juicy attack buff from a Bennett with 4-piece Noblesse. For both scenarios, the engulfing lightning is obviously the best. Also, the Staff of Homa might seem strong, but it is very situational, because the Shogun does not have a method to get under the 50% threshold. This makes the Homa's actual DPS quite inconsistent. The overall rankings between the two charts does not change much except for one catch. And that is the catch again. That's right, the new free to play weapon that is obtained from fishing becomes extremely strong if you have a team that can provide a nice attack buff. This weapon is obtainable by anyone since it is tied to the fishing system and not a time limited event. And that is a quick guide on gearing the Shogun. She actually has some variations on her artifact main stat, unlike most of the other DPS in the game. Anyways, catch my future videos that will go over her abilities and optimization. 
And as always, have fun out there, traveler.